Coach Greg, and today some more sad news. Hannah Kimura, she's a very popular wrestler and was one of the stars of a Netflix show called Terrace House. She is no longer with us. So I did a video about Connor Murphy recently, and there's people that have passed away recently. It seems to be a very common thing that's going on, especially right now with this social isolation and what have you. In this case, it seems to be that cyberbullying is the main culprit, the main thing that led to this situation. Now, I'm speculating and assuming that she took this into her own hands. I don't have 100% verification. It's not something that's 100% out there. And so we don't know, but it's most likely the case. She posts a lot on Twitter and she sent this out yesterday, which led to so many people being extremely concerned. And of course they should be. So I'm going to read what she posted. Nearly 100 frank opinions every day. I couldn't deny that I was hurt. I'm dead. Thank you for giving me a mother. It was a life I wanted to be loved. Thank you to everyone who supported me. I love it. I'm weak. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a human anymore. It was a life I wanted to be loved. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Bye. She posted that yesterday and she's no longer with us today. So you can speculate as to what you think of that. But think about this. 100 messages a day that were negative and she would constantly read these and it led to that amount of sadness in her life. No one is immune to this. Nobody. Just because you're rich, famous, extremely good looking, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It can happen to anyone and everyone. So you never know what you say to one person. You never know what that exact comment might impact on that person. It's a scary thought. Just think of how many things I say. Most of the time it's positive in people's lives. Most of the time, but obviously some of the things I say to some people are going to be negative. I hope that you're strong enough to be able to handle criticism, to be able to handle not everything always being your way. You don't think that I get a hundred negative messages or comments a day? Way more than a hundred. I get thousands and thousands of comments a day. At least a hundred are negative. If I just listen to all the negativity and let it sink in, what kind of person would I be at the end of this? I would have no happiness, but I'm the opposite. I read the negativity, goes in one ear and out the other, and between that time, I process it and write a comeback. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. It really doesn't bring sadness or a depression in my life. It doesn't do that for me, but not everyone is me. And I know that not everyone can handle the same amount of criticism. Some things trigger me more than others. Some things trigger other people more than others. If it's happening to you, and trust me, I talk to people, I have friends that are dealing with severe issues. They're very depressed. They're very sad. They don't know what to do. You need to go see professional help. Yes, it's good. You can talk it out with your friends. That can help. Counselors are trained professionals at knowing what to say, when and why and how to deliver the message. I've studied these things. Yes, I know what to do for me. I have a hold on this. I know how to cope with these things. Not everyone does. I am the first person that will raise my hand and say, I need help. I am struggling right now. I can't do it. I need to have somebody help me because I am going to lose my mind. I get help. Other people are scared to ask for help. I don't know if they think it's a sign of weakness or that they were trained. Oh, I'm a guy. I shouldn't say this. Or, oh, I'm a girl. No, just drink wine. But people don't seem to understand. They don't get it. They don't know that you should go and seek help. I don't understand why exactly we are so afraid, afraid to put ourselves out there, afraid to be criticized. So many people, do you know how I can't even, I can't even explain the amount of messages I get from people, often young people who are so scared of what other people will say or think. They're so scared to say it 
they'll ask me a question and say, whatever you do, don't name my name on a, on a video that I asked this question. No matter what you do, don't let anyone know that I asked you this. And I'm reading the question, I'm like, what's wrong with the question? It's a normal question. They're scared that it'll come out that they didn't know something. They might ask a question about a calorie deficit. How many calories do I need to eat to lose weight? Don't let anyone know that I asked you this question. I'm embarrassed if they knew that I, you're, you're embarrassed, you're scared of what people will think. If I live my entire life afraid of what people will think of me, what kind of life am I gonna live? If I live my, if I live my entire life where I was afraid of what everyone would think of my opinion, would I have a YouTube channel? My opinion is my opinions for me and me only. You can listen to it, but it's my opinion. You can comment back, I don't like your opinion. I don't like what you say. I don't like how you look. I don't like how you think. I don't like how you do life. So it's my opinion on what I want to do. You don't need to like it. And if you write 1,000 comments saying you are an asshole and a moron and a manlet and a loser and a, in, and a this and an abuser and a dealer of bad things that you shouldn't inject and you did this in your life and you should go to jail and you're a rat and you hate on people and you call people and it's on and on and on. Yeah, well, that's your opinion. It's for you. I can choose to listen to your opinion. I can choose to listen to what you think about me, but why should I? Why should I care about what some stranger thinks about me? These comments are appearing online. Somebody you've never met is writing it. You will never even meet them. You don't even know what they're saying. You don't know why. They might be just saying because they think they're cool. Maybe they have such a shitty, shitty life that they want to pick on you because you're doing good. I don't like those people doing good. I'm going to hate on them so that they, they come down to my level because they're up on a pedestal and I'm down here and I don't want to work to be better. So I'm going to just constantly insult those good people, those hardworking people, those people that work 100 hours a week, those people that study, those people that have a good body, that trained harder than freaking last time to get where they, they put the fork down. Oh, and this is HRT. That's why it's the freaking injected tran and GH since you were 10. And this, you just see your abs and it's the holes. And obviously you're this and that. And it's eh. That's their opinion. They may or may not even actually think that. They might be just saying that to get to you. Because guess what? They're bullies. How many of us were not bullied as kids? All of us had bullies. We were all bullied. We all were bullied. Every single human being has been bullied by people at one point or another. Even me, even everybody. Do you think being five foot six inches tall and talking like I do, you don't get bullied at some point? You don't think being your own person and saying your own opinion and leaving it out there doesn't lead to you to be judged? Do I look like somebody that won't tell you what I think? Do you not think that talking like I do opens you up to criticism from other people and hate? Of course it does. But you can't let that control your life. You have to do you. You be you and do what you want and stop caring about what other people think. You can't care about what people think. What you think is most important. Sure, you can have friends, certain people, loved ones that you value their opinions and then when they say something about you, you listen, you take it in, analyze what they said and decide what you want to do with it. And even if it's a loved one, if they say something, you think about it, okay, I hear that suggestion. I don't like it though. In that ear, processed, and out the other ear and I'm moving on. Doesn't mean you just don't listen to it. Listen to it, process it, let it out. Listen to it, it's good. Process, good. Feel better about yourself. Positivity, yes, I'm a good person. I like this. Keep it in, don't get out the other ear. Leave that in, absorb it. You say, well, there's so many bad things in my life. I just, I think about it all the time. This is what I do. 
Leave yourself 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Give yourself a time. Let yourself think about those things. Because if you don't, you're just going to have to think about it all day anyway. You're already thinking about it every day. Think about it for 15 minutes. From 8 o'clock to 8.15, I'm going to analyze the shit that's going on in my life. Those 15 minutes are up. It's out. Done. No more. Let's think good. What do I do that I can get over the shit things that I have to think about? I can race my freaking bike on Zwift. Do you think I can process shit when I'm racing up a hill trying to keep up with the guy in front of me? Trying to race as hard as... No, I'm concentrating on the pain that's in my legs, the breathing, and how much torture I'm putting. I'm not thinking about mental stress. It's gone. And when the freaking race is over, like last night when I was having a freaking hard day, a hard freaking week, you don't think I have hard times? You don't think I deal with stress? Are you kidding me? A lot of freaking stress is in here. But I can deal with it. I can cope with it because I have those skills. I can do it. So I'm racing a 50 kilometer bike race and I'm going hard. And at the end of the race, not only did I burn 1,100 calories and had the sense of accomplishment that I did that, I pushed myself through the pain and I accomplished that, I feel good. There are endorphins being released in my body that make me feel good about myself. And then for the rest of the night, I'm happy. Happy, Greg. Happy. Not stressed out like I was all freaking day. Does that work for you? Maybe it's not a bike race on Zwift. Maybe you like lifting weights. And yeah, some of the gyms are closed, but they're opening up soon. You can always train at home. There's things you can do. You can do push-ups, sit up, whatever. You can go for a walk. You can go for a run. You can hike in the woods. There's a lot of things you can do to relieve stress. Make yourself exercise. Get into the habit of exercising. It will release endorphins. It'll help you lose weight. It'll make you feel better body image, more positivity. That will keep you going to the next day. Then the next day, yeah, it's another stressful day. But guess what? You get to exercise again and you get to burn off that stress and you make it to the next day. The next day and then the next day and then the next day. Before you know it, it's 10 years later and you're an exercise fitness fanatic. You can cope with stress and you love it. You now love it. You now feel about fitness the way that I do. And it helps you in all aspects of life. You can push through the pain during a bike race or gym session. You can push through the pain when you're working and you don't want to. You can motivate yourself to do that. So don't take your life into your own hands. Get a counselor. Get someone with professional training to help you. Find what will work for you. Exercise. Release the stress. Get rid of it. Don't dwell on the negativity, the negative comments. Everyone's getting fitness celebrities. The video on Lauren Simpson that I posted this morning, she had thousands of negative comments. Do you want that to lead into the same type of freaking situation? You don't listen to the crap. Be proud of yourself. Be the best you can be. GregDoucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro. Watch one of my other videos. I don't just talk about how to get jacked or how to get shredded. I talk about every single concept or thought you could ever think about. It's a channel for everyone. Positivity. We're going to get better. And until next time, I am out.